right, what we're about to make today is a screen for your projector. And if I look kind of, no, and this is my chin right here. You're not seeing, it's not white screen. That is my actual chin. I got like two of them right there. Anyway, I'm gonna make a projector screen. And uh, I hope you uh, can learn uh, something from this. Thank you. See you in a little bit. Okay, the projector screen I'm gonna make today is gonna be eight foot by 63 inches. I got a roll there, plastic that a friend gave to me a while back. Ignore that, that's gonna be cut out. So, <coughs> excuse me. No, I don't smoke. It was just a cough. So you can see, I got the roll of plastic and I got some wood. All right, so I'm gonna cut the wood down to size first. I already got my measurements. You can make, <coughs> you can, excuse me again. <coughs> You can make it whatever size you want. Um, and if you hear that sound, it sounds like somebody's taking a leak. It really isn't. It's just somebody, uh, the ice is just melting. You see that? We had ice. Can you see where it's dripping right there? See that? Alright, there's the ice. There's proof that it's not somebody taking a piss. So let me cut this wood down to size and then uh, I'll check in with you. It's going to be an 8 foot by 63. Now I'm just guessing at these sizes because A, I've only seen pictures of the location that this is going to go in and B, I can only go 63 inches because that's how uh, tall my, my roll of plastic is. Okay? As you can see, I don't know if you can see this, I've already cut out my frame. I actually... Uh, Messed up on my measurements, so I'm actually th three inches shorter than I wanted to be. Not the length, but the width. But that's okay, because those guys will be too drunk anyway to really know. This is actually for the Super Bowl, so I'm making this screen for the Super Bowl. All right. Anyway, once you got all your measurements, as you can see right here, I measured half of my board, of bo both boards, and then I just kind of center, centered them. Okay, you can kind of see. So everything right now is gonna get put together. Now what I'm gonna do is I found these brackets. See that? They come with a bunch of screws, so you ain't gotta worry about having to do all kinds of stuff. I could have gone a little bit cheaper, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. See that? Screws. Okay, so I'm going to show you how these go on. Okay, as you can see, this, see, the bracket I just showed you? Square up your boards right here. Okay, you can square them up. And then that little bracket does the job of two. It does the job of your L bracket and a little angle bracket in here. So you could do two jobs with the one bracket. Now, I'm gonna tell you that if, if this was more of a permanent thing, I would go a way different route. I would glue the joints in here, and I would probably cut some uh, angle pieces of wood that come from here to here, and that would make it a lot stronger. This is, like I said, just a temporary thing, okay? All right, well, I can't do it. I can't just put it together I'm gonna have to go with the glue so what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit right here sorry I'm trying to do video and glue at the same time so just a little bit if I can get it to come out give me a second okay got it to come out so we're just gonna do a little bit okay not that much just like that and it's probably not going to do a whole lot but it just makes gives me peace of mind but it will give it a little bit more strength so let me go ahead and put this back down like that square it up and then i'm gonna put my bracket and screw it in so i, I definitely can't screw the the bracket in and videotape so i'm about to stop 
All right. So as you can see, I got the corners already, the corner braces, and just some recommendations. Uh, you can find some drywall screws. That's great because these, these screws that come with the brackets actually were cracking the wood. And part of that is because I should have pre-drilled. But I'm not going to because this is really not a permanent thing. And uh, the other thing, uh, the wood wasn't the best quality. So you might run across it cracking. But if you can find like uh, some small drywall screws that will fit. Uh, that'll keep you, that'll help the cracking some and it'll keep you from having to pre-drill. So back, we're going to do the center board. For the center board, I bought these T-brackets. Uh, most of you, or what I've seen them, is that they use L-brackets, but I figured this might uh, help it work a little better. And uh, as always, you got to, well, my habit, just using glue all the time. So uh, let me go ahead and do that because like I said before, can't do videotaping, screw in screws at the same time. So oh, give me a second, I'm almost done with this frame stuff. I'm going to do something to reinforce this frame. It was too flimsy and I have to transport it. I got some masonite, a quarter inch, even less than a quarter inch. So I'm going to reinforce it here in the corners. And that's just going to keep help me get uh, a little bit more reinforcement. So let me do that and I'll get back. Alright, those are my brackets. As you can see, I got one. Like I said, you don't have to do that. I just did it because it made it a little bit sturdier. Now I've already cut my plastic size. Let's say hello to Terry. That's Terry. Hey. He's kind of helping me. We're talking about the economy and stuff. We're solving... Uh, a lot of the world's problems here while we build the screen. Uh, sorry, that was my roll of plastic. But anyway, you can see I'm gonna lay it, lay it like that first. Just make sure everything's fitting good, which looks good. And then I'm going to uh, start the staple and stretch. All right, so I shall be back. I'm gonna staple around the back, see that? So I'll just staple the fabric all the way around the frame. All right. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I've already stapled the bottom. What I'm gonna do now is just pull it over. As you can see, I'm trying to go as tight as I can with it. This is pretty heavy duty plastic, so it's kind of tight. It's kind of tough to pull, but it's okay. Now, if you're not gonna have a staple gun like this, I understand you can use nails. You can use uh, thumbtacks if you want. You can use anything. These dirty marks here, don't worry about those. Those, those won't show in the front. Alright, so you kind of see what I did. So now I'll come over here. And I got a little trick in case there's some wrinkles or loose. I'm going to show you a little trick that you can use to take some of the wrinkles off. See that? How's that look? No, that's not fast motion. That's me. All right, now I'm gonna do my ends here. Same, same thing. I'm gonna pull as tight as I can. Right in the center first. Only put a couple of staples in case you need to take some some staples off or whatever. Make these corners look nice. Okay, I always like nice corners. Don't like sloppy, sloppy work. Okay. Same thing. I'm still pulling. All right, let's just show you the front. Can we show on the front, Terry? How's that look? Look at that. Woo! You can show all kinds of movies on here. All kinds all kinds all right so let me make this corner look nice and then uh, i'll get back to you all right as you can see see the corners you want nice pretty corners okay you want quality work you don't want crappy work you do crappy work you get a crappy screen 
You do a good screen, good quality work. What kind of screen do you get, Terry? A good quality screen. That's right. And that's what we got right here. So let me finish up. I got a couple more corners to do and then we'll be done, almost be done. All right, screen is done. All right, the screen is done. See that? Now I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit. Make it really tight, what I've done. If you don't have one of these, that's okay. This is a industrial heat gun. See how hot that gets? Can you see inside there? If you don't have one, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Because I know you pulled hard enough to where it's tight. I'm just being a little bit too tricky. Anyway, what this is going to do is see it's stretching. It's going to stretch the plastic. Actually, it's not stretching it. What it's doing is shrinking it. And when it shrinks it, it's going to stretch. Or look stretched. I hope. Alright, so let me finish up and we'll be done. Alright, there's my tight screen. Now what I'm going to do is kind of put like a little decorative edge here. Okay? And I actually got this idea from online. So I got this from a, from a YouTube user. And what it is, all this is, is duct, uh, black duct tape. And what I'm going to do, you see the edge? See? See how I'm doing that? Can you see that? Right there. I'm going to start at the back edge. So that way I can line up my tape. Once I line up my tape, then I'll just bring it forward. Okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And this is just gonna give it a nice decorative edge. Can you see, can you say, oh, there I lost it. Sorry, let me try again. Let's try again. Doom, doom. See, this is a real show. That's why you see mistakes happen. Not those fake shows on TV. All right, can you say hi, Terry? Hi, Terry. All right, let me go ahead and do this. Cause like I said before, I can't, videotape and work at the same time so we'll be back all right there's my screen completed screen as you can see that duct tape even though some people might say ghetto it doesn't matter because it looks really nice if you do it professional see that remember you do good quality work you get good quality quality screen that's it all right, so we're gonna take it to the location and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we're here at the uh, facility. This is a facility. Ah! Huh. No, baby. Okay, we cannot nail or tape on the wall. So what I've done, fortunately these brick columns, I was able to clamp. Put these two clamps on there. See that? Because like I said before, this is only a temporary thing. And then what I did, I bought some hooks. See that right there? See the other one way down there? So there's hooks. Okay? These hooks will hook on to that end right there. Okay? So let me do this and then uh, we'll get back to you. Once, once you figure out how to hang up your screen, then you can enjoy the game. Anyway, and that's that. Thanks. That your hat can't fit ya Either I'm with ya or against ya Format bench ya Back through that maze I sent ya Talking to the rap inventor Nigga with the game type fifth that flame right Spell my name right B-I double G-I-E Iced out, lights out, me and see the Leo Getting hand for some chick he know See it's all about the cheddar Nobody do it better Going back to Cali strictly for the weather Women and the weed, sticky green No seeds, bitch please Pop 